What's up guys, Jennifer Dory here, officially three days out of Tampa Pro this year. We are here at MI40, about to get in one of my last few workouts. We're gonna train some back and some arms today and we are about to crush it. Final few workouts going down and it's almost showtime, so stay tuned. We are gonna do back and biceps today and then shoulders tomorrow. Just upper body from here on out just because I don't want to have any inflammation in my lower body. So just nothing crazy. We're not going for PRs this week. We're not trying to lift super heavy. Obviously I don't want to risk injury, but I also don't want any inflammation with the muscle. So just light pump workout, stimulate the muscle enough to get a pump and that is the goal. That's it. So pretty easy workout. Um, we're going to start back, probably start with some pull downs and then we'll do a couple different variations of some rows and then move on to some arm work. So this is my future husband, Mark Anthony. Biggest supporter, number one cheerleader. So he's gonna take me through a back workout today and you guys are gonna be hearing some of his tips and cues as we go through it. Just the uh, last couple days out before the show, get a little bit of blood moving, you know, make sure she's feeling all her muscles, nothing crazy. She's ready, but we're doing this for you. <laughs> We are at uh, MI40 in Tampa Bay. Uh, probably the, uh, my favorite, our favorite gym here. You know, we're, we're big supporters of uh, ben, ben Pakulski, fellow Canadian, and uh, Amanda Vasallo, who own this gym. So thank you for your hospitality. They have uh, all the top equipment here, and uh, that's where we're doing the workout. So right now, um, one time about, seven to ten days out I usually cut out most of the powdered supplements any artificial sweeteners just try and reduce any bloating inflammation stuff like that so as of right now I'm using the burn HD I just took two caps as my pre-workout since I'm not doing any pre HD sadly right now um, and then I'm using glyco HD as I start carb loading so with my carb meals two caps of glyco HD for my carb meals 15 minutes or so before just to make sure that we're shuttling all those carbs to the right places and utilizing those nutrients the best we can. A new pair of pants because these ones are quite big. Wow. <laughs> you know you're ready when. <laughs> Mark, I'm testing you right now. What's the importance of the camera pro? What's the significance? I mean, there's, 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 there's a, a lot. There's, there's a few significant things. Well, we need the number one thing. The, the number one thing is this is where we met. Three years okay. ago. Three years ago. <laughs> and the other significance is that she one, her first pro show here. And you ever heard the song by Drake? Back to back. <laughs> so Tampa Pro, I mean, like you said, there's a lot of significance to the show. For me, it's an important show and dear to my heart for a lot of reasons. One being that's the show we met at back in 2018. Um, that show is also the show in 2018. That was my rookie pro year. Um, that was the last show I did that qualified me with points because at the time it was the point system for my first Olympia. So I met my husband. I qualified for my first Olympia at that show. I did my first photo shoot with JM. Um, now, I mean, we've shot together plenty of times since then. And then, of course, last year was my first pro win back at this show. So it's just fun to be back here. You know, good memories and good vibes all around. And of course, like I said, we're going for that back to back repeat win, but we'll see what happens on Saturday. The only thing is I feel um, that spot on my back that I need to work on is like tugging. Can we ask him to, to work on you a little bit? Maybe we'll, we'll do it after the workout because that way it's fresh. Yeah, I want to make sure he's available. Yeah, ask him please. He does massage therapy and stuff. He's competing this weekend in MPC. But I have this like nagging tugging in my back. I think it's from the side I pose on. So he's going to try and work on it after, if he can. Is it common for bikini competitors to have like back? <laughs> I think so just because one, if you're posing on that one side, for example, like I do, 
you're you know squeezing and twisting and contorting your body in such a way that especially if you're holding those poses for a long time which as we get closer to the show of course we're posing more frequently and for longer sessions so your body just kind of gets stiff and stuck and then plus with the training and being in a depleted phase it's easy to to have things that get stuck or tugging and that's why body work is so important so. Nice. I said I, I put it down and then I told myself, do one more rep or else you're not gonna win. So I was like, crap, I have to do one more rep. And I'm always OCD like that. Like that's kind of how I stay on track. So you know if I'm ever tempted to like skip a set, you know, and just finish my workout early, I'm like, if you do that, you're not gonna win. Or if I'm like, you know, I wanna grab an extra rice cake, or even like last week I wanted to have a sip of like a diet pop in the fridge, but I've cut out all my sweeteners. So I'm like, I had it and I had it up to my mouth, I'm like, if you drink this, you're not gonna win. And I was like, oh. It's not worth it. <laughs> Cause then you jinx yourself, so. And then I'd be on stage thinking to myself, crap, I shouldn't have done it. When I'm actually on stage, um, smile, don't trip, keep your stomach tight, ouch, I'm cramping. <laughs> it's like, and it's like, don't fall, don't trip. Like, you're just trying to keep your composure on stage. And then it's funny, cause people think that you're like, everyone is so confident on stage when most of us are in our heads like, trying to remember our routines and like not to trip and all these little cues that we have for posture. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much on stage. Life inside of a competitive mind. And then before stage, it's usually just, I, I usually don't get nervous until right before. Like right now, for example, I'm just excited. Um, I'll be excited all the way up until like Saturday morning. And then once I wake up, once you get your makeup and your tan, you're all glammed up, you feel good, you're excited, you're ready to go. And then for me, I get backstage and that's when I get kind of stressed and anxious because it's such a rush backstage. And then all of a sudden, the most stressful part for me is when I hear them like, okay, bikini, line up, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then I'm like, oh no, I gotta go. <laughs> and that's usually when I get stressed, like right before I walk up on stage. So I try not to even think about competing until I'm right about to walk up on those stairs to the stage. I'm just shredded and enjoying a weekend, that's it. <laughs> until I get on stage. <laughs> Well, we can come back anytime we want, we just don't want to. That's not true. I mean, to see our family and to go to Pure. I mean, I miss my family like crazy and I want to come back to see my friends and stuff, but um, as of right now, just with the restrictions and everything going on and with me competing, I don't want to risk not being able to come back um, with stuff, so. Yeah. For now, until after Olympia at least. It just so seems October. Like, yeah, it seems like there's you know a lot more restrictions there, and and everything is so closed there, so it's like I wouldn't be able to train properly and stuff there. So. What about, um, what's it like what about our your dogs? Parents for a long time? Of course, our dogs. We have two dogs. <laughs> I mean, it's tough because obviously I miss my family a lot. I mean, I talk to my mom and sister every day. We Facetime all the time, so thankfully, you know, my mom and sister are both super supportive of everything that I do. So they're always checking in. You know, we have a group chat. We talk on every day and hopefully they're going to come to Olympia um, in October. No, I think they're going to come. I hope so. If yeah. you guys are watching this, you better come. And her, her birthday is on... It's, it's on my birthday, October 7th. Yeah. And my twin sister, obviously, it's her birthday too on Olympia weekend. And it's her 25th birthday. So if she could come and celebrate, hopefully, two things on that weekend, that would be a good weekend. Definitely two things on that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, Definitely two things on that weekend. <laughs> That'd be an awesome 25th birthday. If I could win the Olympia on my birthday weekend and have my mom and my sister there, that would be beyond. Someone told me that I better win this that's show. Me, I'm the one that thinks she better win. There's definitely a lot of expectations just because, one, there's a lot of support. So I don't think it's a negative thing. I think it's a lot of people believe in me. People, you know, want to support me and want to see me at my best. 
And then of course, there's, you know, there's going to be some people who are hoping to see you fail. That's just how the world is. But, I mean, I don't really pay any attention to those kind of people because they're not my people. Um, so yes, there's pressure and it can be a double-edged sword, but I think that you can use that pressure as something to motivate you to keep pushing to be better and better and use it as something that like, wow, these people believe in me because they have these high expectations for me versus seeing it as something that overwhelms you and kind of scares you off. Um, so, you know, coming to show as the previous champ last year, Green of champion. course, <laughs> of course there's, you know, expectations of me to win the show. Um, and I mean, we have some great fierce competitors, some top Olympians in the show too. So, you know, there's some people who are rooting for them, some people are rooting for me, and that's just how it goes. Everyone has their favorites. And I mean, I'm not worried about anyone else but myself because truthfully, I'm my own competition. I mean, I'm trying to beat myself from last year because I was the champ last year. I'm trying to beat the pack I brought to Olympia where, you know, I play second amongst these same people. So that's all I can do. Focus on me. And I will assure you, she is much better this year than she was last year, so. It's so serious, I can assure you. <laughs> I just joke when I say, you better win. No, really, she's, she's better than I am, because she's very focused on just being better than she was last year. And she's really not distracted by anything else. No outside distractions or any kind of pressure. I feel like she just puts enough pressure on herself, because she expects that much out of herself. Mark, I heard a rumor, a little bird, that you know Big Mike Van Wick. Wow. Well, if it isn't, it's not a rumor. I've known Big Mike Van Wick for a long, long time. Uh, back in the day. What a, what a great guy. Uh, I haven't seen him in a long time either, and uh, I look forward to uh, surprising him one day. But we, we've, been in, uh, we've been in touch ever since he's joined the uh, HD uh, Muscle family, um, and Pure, of course. What a knowledgeable guy. Been around for a long time, tons of knowledge, season, and just, just a gentleman. What was he like back then when you knew? Oh, me and him were party animals. We used to tear it up. What? Tear it up. No. That is a wrap. Our second to last workout, three days out of Tampa Pro. Today is Wednesday, so we will be back here tomorrow to get in a shoulder workout, or we might do a hotel gym pump, depending on the time that we have. Uh, but that's all for today. We wrapped up our second last workout. Time to eat get back to the hotel. I am going to scrub and exfoliate, put on my first coat of pro tan, and then be nice and tanned up and just rest and relax for the rest of the night tonight and start eating some carbs. We found me on the poster from last year. <laughs> it's me.